Hi, this is Wolfbane Blitz back here playing Hunter Call a while. I'm back here in uh, uh, Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, I'm gonna where I ended the last one. I was gonna go to the uh, and put the climbing gear at the area that climbing area. So that's where I'm gonna go right now. Uh, I think that hunt club is still up for taking stuff with a with a handgun so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna have my handgun ready uh, try and make a little extra money uh, so I'm gonna head this away and if I come upon something I will be back sports group here for a long time but the old chairman of the board pushed back against anything that wasn't hunting he was very old-fashioned though the patriarch of the Simpkins electronics empire he even forced his vegan animal rights activist son Timothy to come with him on hunting trips to Africa accused the activists of brainwashing his son the family reputation around here dropped quite dramatically when my dad caught Timothy drinking and dealing drugs inside the reserve. Simpkins actually used his power on the board to keep my dad quiet. But the next time my dad caught Tim in the reserve, he wasn't just dealing drugs. He had been poaching. Dad called it in without even telling Simpkins Sr. Of course he was furious. Tried to get my dad fired, actually. But all credit to the board. They stuck with my old man. All these changes I want to make will hopefully account for the loss of the Simpkins' money and influence. This is just the start, too. I'm proposing snowboarding and extreme skiing for the winter. I've got some friends who I'd love to invite over to shoot some videos. Could be fun, don't you think? Anyway, if the repelling goes well and makes a little money, I think the old folks on the board will start to come around. looks great. I doubt I could have done a better job myself. Don't let the ropes down. We don't need them getting all tangled up. I really appreciate your help with this one. It's been an uphill battle to get to this point, and I'm disappointed that I can't be there to run the classes myself. If I'm being honest, I have a lot invested in the classes going well. There's still some people on the board who are friends with the old chairman, and it seems pretty clear that they don't like me proposing new ideas. Anyway, I'll let Sammy know that we're good to go. I trust her to take care of it. Hey, so listen. There might be a situation going on at the moment. I can really use your help to check it out. It's not just gold and silver mining that took place out here. Even more recently, there was a working uranium mine in the area. When the reserve was established, we took responsibility for keeping it safe. Anyway, the old uranium mine is very rarely a problem. But recently, it appears that one of our neighbors, a guy I went to school with actually, has been spotted camping out around the mine. His name's Bobby Joe Jefferson. 
He's normally just a nuisance, driving his quad bike around and setting up little shooting ranges with tin cans. He makes the deer and turkeys extra skittish, so the hunters hate him. Can you head over to the mine and see what's going on? He's allowed to hike and camp there, but I don't want him going anywhere near the entrance itself. Uranium mines. Hmm. Oh man. Back the other way. Did he get up the hill? is still secure. The heck is this? A trail camera? I've used these for work and for hunting before. This one shouldn't be here, though. We don't want hunters so close to the mine. Grab the camera. like his camp. Any sign of him?
binoculars. Maybe he was hunting. Rifle cartridges. Uh, that's not good news. A journal. Maybe this will show us why he's out here. That's our uranium mining. Pick it up, would you? Government conspiracy? <laughs> I'll be honest. I never credited Bobby Joe with this much imagination in high school. Replant the sign, and we're done here for now. You know what makes this extra weird? He actually has done some detective work. Enough to convince himself to camp here. Now I gotta go back up there? Why didn't I do that while I was up there? Supposed to do here. Well, what the hell? Oh. The signs back up. Great. This mine has never been a problem oh. before, but let's not take any chances. I've seen of them. Me and my dad have been dealing with Bobby Joe for years, but this is new. I know he's a nuisance, but I always felt sorry for him. He had a pretty tough upbringing. I don't want to call the police, but I have to. <laughs> He's armed and known for making poor choices. It would appear that it's not just the neighbors that are making questionable calls today. Sometimes folks from the city will drive out here to get away from work or their personal lives or whatever happens to be bothering them. The problem is that sometimes, quite often actually, people wander into the wilderness without a clue of how to survive if things go wrong. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. And based on a couple of phone calls I've had from the hospital today, I think that someone has made a mess and could use some help. I was going to check in on them myself, but I need to coordinate with the police on this Bobby Joe thing. And you're already really close by. Can you really? head over to the campgrounds nearby and check in on them? Oh, I guess. The phone calls were sporadic at best. Won't be nobody there. As far as I can tell, this professional yoga and meditation expert has led a group of accountants oh from Denver into the wilderness on some sort of a spiritual hippie. retreat. <laughs> she took their cell phones away from them and had them eating wild flowers and berries. Oh, good grief. Some of them got sick and have gone directly to the hospital. I know that we're not the reason why this happened, but it could look very bad for us if anyone gets seriously hurt. I'd appreciate if you'd hustle and check it out. Oh, my goodness. Yoga exercising, tree hugging, tofu or tofu eating hippie. But it's like people that eat tofu seasons them real good. They're probably already been eight. Okay, I'm gonna use a ATV. I'm just going to go up the road, back up the road here, about this line here, and then stop and go on over there and check that out. That's weird. 
I expected a lot more activity here. They said they were bringing 20 people. Where is everyone? Is the leader in her tent? She goes by Jem. Jem Botten. One on that one. Nothing in that one. I bet she was. Oh. Can you hear the phones ringing? Uh, I guess we know where she hid them then. The accountants have left. I'm going to send someone to make sure they got back to their cars safely. This is an absolute disaster. A bunch of poisoned accountants and a lone woman climbing a non-specific mountain. Next time someone tries to run a retreat out here, I'm gonna make them hire a professional guide. She's expecting the others to meet her at the top of a mountain? Well, Which where's one? the stupid phone? This is exactly the sort of thing I find myself fighting uphill against. It's hard to get going when stuff like this keeps... Where's the stupid phone? Okay, first things first. We need to figure out where Baden's gone. I'll try to reach some of the accountants back at the hospital. Maybe they can help. I get the distinct feeling that she hasn't packed hiking boots or proper equipment for a climb. Maybe she'll turn back soon. I'll let you know if I hear anything, okay? I'm here. What the heck? I guess. Whatever. I guess you found the phone. to throw up challenges for us. I have another job for you, and this one is urgent. We received a call from one of our neighbors, Norman, asking if we'd seen his dad, a longtime friend of the reserve. Apparently he's gone missing and he's taken all the family camping supplies with him. Around the same time, two hikers reported to us that they spotted a single old man laden down with gear, heading into a part of the reserve that is known for its bears. When they asked him if he needed any help, he politely declined and kept walking. Their description matches old Ted perfectly. Short white hair, green rain slicker, and brown leather boots. No gun. I'm trying to get a hold of Norman. Short bloody stumps where his legs and arms just used to Ted be. Gone to visit friends. I'm just getting his voicemail at the moment. While I sort this out, can you head over to where the hikers saw him and try to follow old Teddy's trail? He knows oh, his way I guess. Here. So I have no idea why he'd wander into bear country. the place. You found where the hiker spotted him. That's good news. Listen, I got a hold of Norman and he's on his way out here. But he's a couple of hours drive away. I told him that we were looking for his dad. Norman's really worried. He thinks that Ted has had a breakdown. Ted's wife Jeannie died a couple of weeks ago. And since the funeral, Ted hasn't been himself. The family were giving him as much space as they could, but now they're worried that he's fully isolated himself and he's made some bad decisions that have led him here. Norman took a trip to visit him, but when he arrived, Ted was gone and so was his car. Norman remembers his dad saying that he proposed to Jeannie during a trip to Silver Ridge Peaks 45 years ago. That whole region is a beautiful valley, but nobody goes out there unarmed while the bears are roaming around. 
It might be a long shot, but can you gear up with whatever you need and head into bear country as soon as possible? If Ted's looking for where he proposed almost a half a century ago, I just hope he finds it before the bears find him. I'll mark the beauty spot on your GPS. Be careful in those parts. Keep your rifle handy at all times. Big horn. Ah. Oh. oh, is that him? Yeah, probably because I spotted him, didn't I? quite like bighorn sheep hunting. They have incredible eyesight, can detect movement over great distances, and are equally comfortable in alpine meadows and mountain slopes. So it's always difficult, but those horns are worth it. My advice is to stay well back and catch them unaware on lower ground before they have a chance to disappear up the tree line. Frig is this? Busted up tent. This place has been torn apart. There's no blood, no body. He's left his pack here, though. He must be traveling light. But we can't wait for him to come back to camp. The bear could still be around. I haven't got a shot at anything, so I'm cow elk started coming in. I just laid down and let them come on in. Yeah, I got a good hit on her. Oh yeah. Where'd she go? That's why she came from, so this is why she went out here.
bleed rate low. Okay, I don't remember what organ it said I hit, vital or non-vital. Bleeding out. Twenty-five fifty. There's more. Zero. She'll be right here somewhere. Piled up in some thick stuff. Oh, left one. Yes, I'm doing a vital hit. Pretty. There she goes, jiggling. I did a. The video I did put out before this one, I did a like a montage <laughs> added with music uh, of them doing that wiggle when you claim them. I don't know. It didn't used to do that, and then all of a sudden it just started doing it. Oh, that's his. What you call that? I'll try to call this guy in. Yeah, called in a turkey.
got him. I don't know why he unloaded both barrels, but... Oh, he's gold. Let's see. Oh man, that body shot him, didn't it? <laughs> I'll keep him. This is the beauty spot, but he's gone. There's no sign of an encounter, but look, Ted was definitely here. seek their solace in nature. He told me that if he didn't have my mom or me around, he'd eventually have just started living out here. <laughs> I didn't believe him at first, but as I've grown older, it makes more sense to me. He's running from the pain he's feeling. Out there, he doesn't need to think about anyone or anything else. He can just be alone. Norman will be here soon. I told him that his visit will include a trip to Bear Country, so he's got a rifle to protect himself. I'll point him to his dad's old camp for now. It makes most sense for that to be where Ted will come back to whenever he's ready. There's no tracks for you to follow, and while I don't like the idea of him wandering around, Ted clearly wants to be alone out here. solid to go on, but it could be what leads us to her. Can you check it out? I'll mark the spot on your GPS. I guess we're the, yeah. 
that one will go. Yeah, well, I didn't think I hit him, but I just thought I'd make sure. I was just kind of messing around when he started talking, uh, shooting at that bear. But uh, I think I'm going to call this one a hunt, and uh, then I'll do the uh, one with the yoga instructor in the, on the next hunt. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would, subscribe to my channel. Do me a favor and uh, like some of my videos and like this one if you would. And I will see you later.